Hmm. Then what is density? Why does it dictate if something sinks or floats? Well, density is neither mass nor weight. However, it is closely related to mass. It is actually defined as the mass per unit volume of an object. In layman term, it is the amount of stuff an object possesses in one unit of its volume. Say what? Tell you what. Let's do an experiment. Look at it this way. This is a bottle cap. Do you think it will sink or float? I think it would float. Let's see. Told ya! Now, this is another bottle cap. Do you think it will sink or float? It's the same type of bottle cap. Of course it would float. Let's find out. Why did it sink? Because... It is now filled with plasticine. Uh, so the bottle cap that sank is heavier due to the plasticine. I told you, heavier objects sink while lighter objects float. Really? Have a look at this then. I'm just going to remove the plasticine. Flatten it out a little bit. Cover the top. Like this. And now, put it back in. As you can see, it floats. And so, mass alone does not dictate if an object sinks or floats. Rather, it is mass per unit volume. The bottle cap now floats because the volume is now larger. Since its mass is the same while the volume is larger, its density is now less. I don't understand how the volume of the bottle cap has increased. It's still the same bottle cap. Ah, let me show you. Alright, this bottle cap has all the plasticine jammed into a very small volume within the bottle cap and as such, it has higher density than water. Thus, it sinks. Over here, the plasticine covers the top of the bottle cap, trapping the air. With the additional volume of air, the volume of the bottle cap increases, thus decreasing the density to lower than that of water. Therefore, the cap with the plasticine on top floats. Is that how boats float? Indeed. Wow, science is really amazing. It always has been. Now, let's try some questions. Okay. <laughs>